Invisibility isn't just something from science fiction or fantasy. It's a real technology, and we may be in the early stages of developing reliable invisibility technologies, but our progress is already quite impressive. But research in this field isn't all about invisibility cloaks and shields for remaining unseen by eye. So let's look at why we would even want to be able to be invisible, and then how scientists are already achieving this for magnetic fields. There are essentially two main reasons why we'd want to make something magnetically invisible. The first is privacy or security. This is pretty much what most people are thinking of. Hiding something so people can't see it or find it. For this to be effective, it would need to be invisible to the eye, or at least well hidden. And it would also need to be resilient to probing by detection tools say a metal detector, trying to find where you have hidden something or the safe that it is contained in. The second is potentially more interesting to technology and science, and that is protection. And I don't mean protection from someone taking all your fun goods, but protection from magnetic fields themselves. For this, you can think of like delicate equipment that is contained within high magnetic field environments like reactors or large electromagnets, or just protecting our most delicate infrastructure from external magnetic attacks, say from a foreign hostile group or from coronal mass ejections from the sun. So how do we make something magnetically invisible? Everything has some form of magnetism, and depending on that form, magnetic fields will respond in different ways. If a ferromagnet or a paramagnet is placed in a magnetic field, it responds such that the magnetic field will be attracted to the material, while a diamagnet will repel the field. So even if something is mostly transparent, it's not invisible because there's an interaction between the external magnetic field and the material, let alone if it interacts in such a way to produce reflections. So to make something invisible, we need to make a material that doesn't seemingly interact at all and is completely transparent to the field. To achieve this, we need to make what is called metamaterials. This term just means that the materials are engineered to have a certain quality that is not found naturally and is often done by combining layers of different materials. They work both from combining inherent properties of the materials used and by taking advantage of geometry to make extremely interesting properties. For example, a material that has a negative refractive index, which cannot be found naturally. To make a metamaterial that is magnetically invisible, you can combine a ferromagnet and a diamagnetic material. As these are opposite in effect, the right combination of these two different types of materials act to both attract and repel the magnetic field at the same time. So scientists have taken what is called a perfect diamagnet which is a superconductor that completely repels the magnetic field, where the superconductor has something called the Meissner effect, which is where an external magnetic field is completely cancelled inside the material due to current loops that form that generate an exactly opposing field. They then enveloped this superconductor in a ferromagnetic material. This bilayer structure is able to channel the magnetic field lines into the ferromagnetic layer, where they exit again at the same location as if there was nothing there. Now, if we just wanted to protect something, we could just put it in a superconducting container. But there's many cases where we want to protect something from magnetic fields while maintaining the magnetic fields. That is, we want to maintain the form of the magnetic fields because we are using it for something else. For example, protecting a pacemaker from an MRI machine. We really don't want to damage the pacemaker, as that could kill the person. But we do want to also use the magnetic field to image inside the person, so the magnetic field can't be disturbed. For situations like this, we really need to use this type of metamaterials. But there is a problem with this type of structure. Superconductors need to be cold often less than 100 Kelvin. And for a lot of applications, this just isn't feasible 
to have the system that cold. While room temperature superconductors have been achieved, they still require high pressure environments to exist. So this type of workaround is also not viable for a lot of these applications. Well, it turns out that you can actually use metals rather than superconductors for certain types of magnetic fields. For oscillating fields that exist within certain frequency ranges, these metals can be just as effective as a superconductor and they work at room temperature. There is also work developing materials that are invisible to electric fields where the same concept was used, but rather than a ferromagnetic and a diamagnetic material, they used a combination of a metal and a dielectric material to achieve the same cloaking effect for electric fields. Likewise, this type of technique can be used for visible like, at least the principle can be. Idea of combining multiple materials together to form a new layered material that has the designer qualities that we want. There's already work towards this goal with lots of different methods. There's also devices that already work in the infrared regime, which would work to hide thermal radiation. So maybe we will still get that invisibility cloak at some point. Finally, this type of research leads to a greater understanding of how condensed matter systems interact with these fields. With this understanding, we can start to imagine even more amazing science fiction ideas in reality, like the realization of magnetic wormholes or magnetic action at a distance. There's still plenty of work to be done here and much more exciting science to discover. All of the papers and articles are referenced in the description down below. Thanks for watching. Have fun. See you next time.